Hello everyone, Argsy here. Welcome back to Deer Creek. We've moved forward a few more months. We are into July and if you can see our neighbour's field here on the right, the oats are ready to harvest. So we're on our way down to field number nine to check on our wheat, see if we are ready to go. I have a good feeling it is going to be all good and we'll be able to start on some harvesting today. So we'll get around the corner, we'll head down there. Now I haven't updated for precision farming yet uh, obviously that has come out with a few issues so we are still playing on the pre-updated version of the game uh, just to avoid that so we can get in here and uh, get started but here we go look at this this is looking mighty fine looking crop of wheat there a couple of weeds we missed on the corner but all in all looking across that is a nice and golden looking field now I just wonder if we look the other way does look like across the fields there in the distance we can see field number four as well looking uh, nice and golden so looks like we are going to be ready to go let's just jump out here quickly and go and take a look at the crop right there we go looking very very nice 46 acres of wheat in here to harvest 98 percent yield bonus fully fertilized so it is looking very very good so i think what we'll do We'll head back to the yard, we'll get the combines uh, wheeled out, get them topped up with fuel, the thing we always forget to do, and get everything ready to come down here. I am tossing up between running a combine in each field, uh, starting off this one, getting another combine over on the other side, but I think with only the one grain cart, we're going to be better off by having them both in the same field. does mean we'll get them done quicker, but uh, I think that is going to be the best option. So let's get back down there, get everything set up and ready to go, and we'll come down here and make a start on this wheat. Well, it's taken us a couple of hours, or an hour and a half or so. We've managed to get both combines out. They are all cleaned, fu fully fueled, ready to go. We've got the grain cart sitting there as well. That is all fueled up and ready to go, which is a good thing. That tractor was looking pretty low. And uh, lastly, we've got the truck sitting here waiting. Now, I'm just going to check. We've got the grain leg all set up for when we bring the wheat in, that we're sending everything into the right pit or into the right uh, tank silo. That's the word I'm looking for. So we're just going to make sure we've got everything running in the right direction, get this all uh, configured properly, and then we'll be off to the field, get the combines up and going. All right, we've got the combines on the way down. You can see the one just disappearing in the distance. And there goes the S7. So uh, we're going to follow along here and head on down to the field. Now, we have turned the traffic off because of all the issues we've run into previously with traffic uh, when running this bigger equipment down the road. So we're just uh, making the most of having no traffic. As you can see, we would be running into all sorts of problems. But uh, we are going to get down there. We'll go and make it start down in field number nine and uh, get some wheat harvested. Now, I have had a request from the animal dealer. Uh, they are wanting to buy some straw. So this field down here, we're actually going to get baled. Uh, they are going to send in a contractor a little bit later. I'm not sure whether it's going to be behind us or not, uh, but they are going to come down and bale that up, get it collected and head on down to uh, sell it at the animal dealer or supply it to the animal dealer if I say it will be sold and we will get a little bit of profit off it so uh, that is an extra bonus but it does mean we do need to keep our straw swaths uh, rather than having the spreaders and choppers on the back of the combine so we'll make sure we've got that set up and configured correctly for when we get going all right we've got our first combine up there they are up and moving on the left hand course we're just going to send this one here off from the first waypoint on the right hand side so we should here we go make sure that we've got the straw swath turned on of course that is a course play setting that we need to adjust and there it is it is up and running so that's all looking pretty good to me so we're going to let these guys head off i'm going to run the grain cart for a while we do need to get the truck down here we've got a truck driver uh, who should be turning up very soon and coming down here to run back and forth between the uh, field here and the silos so uh, we'll get them down here soon and we'll keep an eye out for when these uh, balers arrive not sure when it might be but they will be here at some stage hopefully while we're still in the field so you can see some of them uh, running around here working while we're in here as well all right we've got everything up and running uh, we've got the simple inspector turned on down there too so we can keep an eye on our fill levels uh, 35 percent in the x9 so we're probably looking at where they are over in that far corner probably would have made around the field in uh, one go without having to empty but we will get around there and uh, keep them keep them moving not have to worry about that 
course we won't be able to empty that one out until they get onto the second pass anyhow we're going to have too much issue with fences map edges roads and power poles and all sorts of other little hazards on the way uh the truck is on the way you can see that down there as well the kenworth running on auto drive so that is all running pretty smoothly looks like we had a few issues with our field edge just along this side so we might have to come back and tidy that up ourselves let's uh just get pulled up in fact there's the truck just pulling in now let's uh get pulled up here beside this trailing combine we may as well get a little bit of uh wheat in here and get things started off as we mean to continue we pulled up the side and they are going to have some issues there let's see if we can get moving I do have to change my uh, settings I've had it seven kilometers from being in Southern Cross station in uh, in Australia but I'm not sure quite why that decided then it would stop emptying out let's see if we can get moving here beside it there we go it's much better there we are so we're up and running we are set in kilometers but that doesn't matter we can uh we can make do with whatever setting we have so we'll get this combine emptied out and by the time we've done that probably be time to catch up and uh, get the x9 emptied out up the front there 43 percent full so uh not too bad at all all right first headland pass is done the x9 is just cutting in to start their second run uh s790 is heading around the uh TV aerial or radio antenna or whatever it is there in the field so we'll get pulled up here beside now as it ran past the truck it decided to unload a little bit into there uh, 1600 or so letters 1514 there you'll see uh, that was just as a result of going past it so we won't have quite as much as we thought we would but still not too bad so we'll get this emptied out we'll uh, then go and get the other combine emptied out by then we're not quite going to have enough for the truck of course it has about a 40,000 litre capacity we won't be too far off all right so we've got the hopper there is empty on the x9 we'll just run with it up to the end of this pass and uh, then we'll scoot around and go and pick up the other combine all right here comes the 790 we'll just get this picked up as well there we go not quite close enough hopefully they'll keep on running on there we go Wheat going in the bin, which is perfect. Now, of course, if we just uh, hop into the in cab view, we're able to already facing backwards, and you can see we've got the scales there keeping an eye on uh, our quantity and weight going into the silo, which is a very nice to see. So, we should be able to get this all emptied out before we get to the end of this pass. In fact, there we go, we're just going straight from the header into the tank at the moment, nothing going and sitting in the combine silo. So, we'll uh, to carry on here to the end of this pass and uh, then I think we'll probably be waiting for them to come around for their next uh, finish their next lap and start on their first lands. Uh, so while we're waiting for them to run around we might as well get our cart unloaded and into the truck here. It's obviously not going to go too far, I'm not going to get it filled that's for sure uh, but it does mean it'll be closer to being ready to run down to the uh, elevator, or not the elevator, down to our grain silo to be put into the bins. Obviously we'll be waiting for the best price uh, we made a certainly a good amount of profit off the last season's harvest so we want to try and maximize it for this time around there we go 64 percent full on the truck so uh, we'll sit there and wait until it, it has a full load before it runs on down to the farm down to the yard this combines are just coming around for the end of the second headland pass uh, now I do want to pick them up and empty out before they start on any lands because obviously the first land at least for this combine We'll be running down uh, a row that I won't be able to unload next to so while there's only about 35% full I don't want to run into any issues of it being unaccessible and having to cut into the field so we'll just uh, take the chance to empty it out while we are here beside it obviously the yield on this uh, wheat isn't as high as I was expecting so we're not running into quite as many problems as we would have if it was corn or something like that uh, it's keeping us relatively quiet not too busy but uh we'll get that there we go we'll get that swing out of the way and uh we'll go pick the other one up and that should get us pretty close to having a full truck and be able to send them back down to the uh yard and get unloaded which would be uh ideal well, it's going to be a bit tight if we have enough to fill the truck up i think we probably need about 16,000 liters and we're only going to be having about 14,000 here so maybe not quite enough get that truck moving but we'll go and get it dumped into it anyhow and uh, see what we end up with you can see the other combine over there is starting to move it into position to 
start on uh, the first of their lands. Now I'm not actually sure where that's going to be because uh, a little bit of a tricky course here uh, starting down on these ends. So we'll just keep an eye on them, see where they run and uh, make sure everything ticks along nicely. But let's see how far we can get this truck here. We go unloading our 14 or 15,000 litres into here. Pretty sure we're not going to get it full. 98%. Not far off. Not far off at all. That's all right. No point in running it down empty at this stage. We'll keep an eye on uh, the combines for a little bit longer. And then I think once we've got the truck moving, we'll uh, see about putting together a bit of a time lapse, I think, in this field rather than a montage. We'll put a montage together a little bit later on. So we're over here on the other side of the field now. The uh, combines got finished over on that other short set of passes and uh, doing this set of short passes now. We're just getting enough wheat here out of the two combines. That's probably enough here out of the uh, X9. We'll run over and pick up the S790. Uh, we'll have enough here now to definitely get that truck full and running down to the yard and uh, into the silos down there. So uh, we'll just get this one emptied out before it turns around. Not yielding too ridiculously high that it's... Uh, that we're struggling to keep up and in fact we'll probably i'd imagine i'll be able to do this last little bit which isn't going to take them too long without having to uh without having to empty out i would expect so this is all going pretty well uh from my point of view so we'll get this truck full up and uh, they can head off down to the uh down to the yard i have heard from the baler they are not too far away so they will be down here soon to start getting uh, some straw bailed up all right, there we go. We're just getting the last of this wheat in here. Didn't take too long at all. So we're going to plan that tr truck. Put the cover on and head off out the driveway. There we go. I think they head around to the left. See the combines there tidying up that last little section. And uh, we'll get this truck out and down to the yard. We'll keep things moving. Keep an eye out for the baler. They can't be too far away. And uh, we'll get things started on that side. I think they've got their own bale pickup trailer they're going to bring down as well and uh, try and do some bale loading. So yeah, good to see that. We'll try and go for a little bit of a ride along with them, maybe. Uh, something I haven't done in FS22 yet too much of. So uh, when they get here, we'll be able to have a go at that. Well, and speaking of the baler, look, here they come in now. So we're going to plan. Hopefully they're going to come in here, reach the field entry, and uh, they then will hopefully turn into the course play course if I've set everything up correctly. Here we go. We've reached the field entrance using auto drive, and they should jump straight onto running on the course the baler that we had set up uh, using the combine course so everything's unfolding there and they're going to start heading on the left hand side of the uh, combine course so that is all working exactly as I had intended it to that's fantastic uh, using the auto drive and then the course play function and auto drive with a preloaded course so uh, that's pretty cool very impressed with that right I'm going to go and quickly get these combines emptied out before they go and uh, start on some long passes again and uh, then we'll jump into a bit of a time lapse and see how things are going getting everything finished off here. Well, it looks like the uh, bale loader is here as well now I'm going to actually run this myself uh, we can set this up on auto drive I haven't actually tried it yet but I just want to go and get some of these bales out of the way before the uh, combines have an issue with them on the headlands so we're just going to jump in here pretend we're just helping out the guys and uh we'll go and head around and get the first lot of bales you can see the tractor has made it all the way around there and uh seems to be tuning out a fair amount of bales actually very very good yield of straw so do need to get this unfolded get that lowered down there and i will head along and start to get some bales picked up now current course play does have a bale collection mode so we will try and get that set up and running very soon but uh we'll get these ones up and out of the way first things first We'll just head along here, should be able to pick that one up, perfect. And uh, we'll carry on along here. I do hope, I think the combine might turn before it gets all the way out to the outside of the headland. In fact it is there, so we wouldn't have had too much of an issue on this pass, but uh, might have been a problem with some of the future ones. But there we go, we are getting these all loaded up. So it'll be interesting to see how much money we can make off these. Uh, obviously straw is not a high value product but uh, there is a market for it down at the animal dealer so let's carry on uh, getting this field done and uh, getting the combines down finished up here and moved down to the next one is obviously our next priority all right we managed to get all the bales off the headland that is the wagon full so we're going to run this down ourselves uh, I do want to try and set up an auto drive course to try and get this delivered in the future we'll just wait for the baler here to back up and get out of the way 
Uh, obviously it's using the same course that the combines did so it has the uh, headlands to turn in that method rather than just sweeping turns. So uh, we'll get down here, we'll head off down the road and we'll go and uh, see about getting this course set up so we can run auto drive down to sell the bales for the rest of the field. Alright so we're just pulling up here to the animal dealer so we're going to try and set this auto drive course up. Now I need to figure out exactly where the sell point for bales is. Uh, it looks like it is going to be that trigger just there on our right. So I think what's going to be easiest is probably driving in from this direction, backing up into the trigger, getting things sold and then driving out the other entrance. So let's back up a touch here just to make sure we're starting the course off in a good spot. We'll turn this on and uh, turn on our course visibility just to see where we're sitting. So I think we just want to start the course about here. Uh, we don't have set to uh, automatically connect so it means we can go like this to the uh, to the course and start off on an angle we like. I think we come and turn in here. Now I do know that it is easier to do reversing courses without the implement attached. Uh, but we've kind of got not too much of an option here at the moment. So if we just back straight in here. Turn that off so we can get an angle here to see where we're going. And I'm hoping right about there should be a good spot to be able to sell it. So we'll get this unloaded and uh, see if they will sell. There we go. And they have indeed all gone into the sell point. Four and a half grand. $4,151. Not even four and a half grand. So not a huge amount. But... Uh, Money all the same, so we're not going to complain. So we'll get this folded back down. We'll start heading forward now, driving out of the course, and link back up with our way out onto the uh, road and back down to the field. We turn around to about here, and uh, then we can link up with this point right here in front of us. Let's move that one over just a touch. And we'll turn that off, and we need to go and create the trigger point for the, uh, for the bales. We may need to adjust this. One thing I am aware of because we had the trailer on is that the waypoints were created right at the back. Uh, and then when we drove forward it was created right here at the front. You can see that point there. A lot of distance. So if we just drag this one back. Let's try and square those up a little bit. Let's call this a bale cell point. There we go. We may now hopefully be able to create a buy and sell route course for uh, getting a bale sold. So let's turn that off. We'll send this back down to field 9 field entry and we'll tab our way back down there and uh, see how the combines are going. See if we need to run the grain cart out. In fact I can check from now we're 51% full in the X9 and almost 40% full in the S790 so not too much of a hurry or urgency. So we might just ride along here and uh, let, the, let this take us back to the uh, back to the field. Alright we're just getting back to the field. Uh, we had a little bit of an accident. The Grain cart was in the way and uh, had held up the baler, so we haven't actually progressed very much further at all. But now that we're here, let's see about getting this course set up. Uh, I'm just noticing the combines are pretty much done. I think that is the very last pass that the uh, combine there in front of us is running down. So there we go, we've got a needs to be unloaded and that normally signifies that the uh, first combine has reached the end of the course. So. Let's see if we can get this set up to start doing some course play bail and loading and unloading. And uh, I'm not sure, we'll see if we can get it running on auto drive at the same time to unload. So in the helper menu, we have gone to create a job. Now, we get an option up here, course play, bail collect or wrap. Now we don't actually have much that we need to do with that. We can just actually go start job. So I'm not sure, if we press that, what exactly is going to happen. There we go, it is going to take off and start to detect the bales. So that is working exactly how we would want it to. Now I wonder, I'm sure if we can turn on auto drive here to do a pickup and delivery. Uh, so we'll just change these settings. We'll go to field nine, field entry. We're picking up. Uh, we're delivering to the bale cell point. Where is that? Up the top here, bale cell point, and we've got square bales. Let's press go on that. Factor is now going to exit the field. We'll turn course play on and see if that will start. To do exactly what we're asking it to do. Right, so it has got to the field entry. Let's see if it is going to pick up any bales or not. No, it's going to have an argument with the header trailer. Alright, so after that little disagreement with the header trailer, uh, it has gone into the field and has started picking up the bales, which is most impressive. 
So next test is going to be to see whether it will run these down to the cell point. So we're just going to leave this running for a little bit. It's got a good collection of bales here to go around and pick up. Uh, the baler should be around here soon, so it'll detect those ones and head around that way. We're going to go jump in the grain cart, get the combines unloaded, come over and get them picked up. Uh, I think if they're out of the way, we don't have header trailers that the tractors here, the baler and the bale wagon can trip over. We might have a few less issues. Uh, and we'll go and get started in the other field. Now, I wasn't planning on baling the other field. Uh, the animal dealer hadn't asked for that many bales, but I think I'm tempted just as a bit of an experiment and just to play around with the settings on course play, which I haven't used yet. I'm considering giving it a go, so we'll, we'll see. We'll make the call when we get over there. We can always leave the straw swath on the ground and uh, plough it in rather than spreading it, so uh, we'll, we'll go and see. We'll give that some thought as we're uh, working this field and getting things changed over. So let's go and get these combines emptied out and uh, moved into the next one. Alright, just while we've been sorting the combines out, we've been tidying up a few bits of wheat that the combines didn't quite pick up, of course play missed. Uh, I've been keeping an eye on how full the Axion here has been, and this is the 14th bale, so I am going to be very intrigued to see what happens now. Will it pick up the auto drive course and head on down to be unloaded? It is telling us it needs to be unloaded. It is heading over towards the field, so we're going to plan. In fact, if we bring up the auto drive, you can see it's heading to field 9 field entry. I'm hoping once it gets there, it will tell it to go to the bale sell point and uh, then head on down and sell them. So let's see how we go. So it has made it to the field entry point and is now going to try and get to the bale sell point. It's going to run into a little hiccup there though because our truck is in the way, which is uh, most unfortunate. That is because I have the loop here for the truck which is uh, also the loop that the tractor wants to follow out. So if we just drive this out of the way, we should be able to do a little U-turn here. We'll go around on the left-hand side of the field. We'll let the tractor go on the right, and we'll get this back up on its auto drive course so it can head on out. And uh, But it looks to me like that tractor is going to find its way. We won't get in its way, though find its way back down to the cell point. So we'll, uh, we'll get this parked back up and then we'll hop in the tractor and go and see what happens at the other end. All right, here we are back at the animal dealer. So let's see how much of a mess I made of this reversing course. I have a feeling it's not gonna work. I have a feeling that it's gonna try and back in too far, uh, but let's wait and see exactly what happens here. Well, it's actually unloading already. Uh, I wonder if there's quite a big trigger on this and we didn't need to go to the extent of having to do the reverse course. I think it's probably picked up the trigger in unloading those, or uh, are we going to have an issue with it not selling? Looks like it's unloading them and not putting them into the trigger. So that is a uh, it's a little bit of an error. Now it's going to back up. Well, that hasn't quite worked out how it was meant to. I wonder why that has unloaded like that. I might have to do some more testing with this. I think it's probably detected the trigger and unloaded when it's got within it. Now it's going to try and mount the shed. That's a disaster. But all part of learnings. It's not something I've used in auto drive for 2022 yet. So uh, let's have a little bit more of a play around with it and see if I can get this fine tuned. And uh, we'll come back to you with a result. Now this is not where I was expecting this episode to be heading. Uh, I wasn't expecting to be playing around with this. It wasn't my intention to start with. But uh, I'm pleased I have because it's uh, it's an always rewarding experience if I can get it to work. So we'll uh, see what we can do and be back here with you soon. Alright, well uh, the proof is going to be in the testing here. So uh, let's get turned in here. Now I moved the entrance the way the uh, trailer drive and tractor drives in a little bit further away from the trigger to see if that might stop it from unloading in an in incorrect location so let's see if we can actually get onto the reversing part of the course and backed up to unload doesn't look like it is it going to stop there and try and unload no it's just come to a complete standstill let's have a look it says it's reached a bale cell point, which it hasn't actually, because if we have a look at where I've got the trigger, it is there. So I wonder, my next option is to actually have a course where we try and turn very tightly, cut the corner, and actually drive through it in a forwards direction and uh, get the trigger that way. So let's give that a go. I'm going to uh, turn this off. We'll do the changes off screen. I'll show you it when we're finished and uh, see if we can get the course to work that way. All right, let's give this a whirl. I've left the uh, indicators on there so you can see the course We've got a very tight turn in here to the right and hopefully go through that cell point. 
the label is a bit beyond it so hopefully the tractor will detect it doesn't quite follow the uh, vehicle entrance correctly but uh, it is what it is to be able to try and get into the cell point so let's see what happens as we drive through here hopefully it is going to work no so we've got to the cell point and it has not done what it needs to do let's see if there is another setting we can change course play uh, auto drive onto to get this to work all right last try i have gone through and cycled all the different auto drive settings it seems to me this is the most appropriate one we need a load point we need an unload point and we need something to unload and we've got square bales here interestingly enough the first time we came down here it did all of the uh, unload correctly it just unloaded it somewhere there wasn't a trigger whereas this time we're not even getting an option to unload it so i'm a little bit puzzled by this uh, i do want to get it to work though it is something that i really enjoyed doing previously uh, so we'll, obviously we'll just get this unloaded ourselves doesn't take much and uh, we'll get back to the field and keep things moving because we've got another field of wheat here to get harvested you can see it just there in the background and this one's even bigger so let's uh, carry on with us and get all these bales collected and out of the field well we've left the uh, loading wagon for now we've come down here into the baler I thought uh, we've talked a lot in this episode I haven't been able to put together a montage or a time lapse or anything like that yet so I thought we'd sit in here with course play for just a wee while while it runs down and it does some of this field so uh, sit back and enjoy I am going to do some more work on getting that bale loading to uh, work I'm determined to figure out what I'm doing wrong or uh, if it is even possible at this stage to combine those two functions so uh, be with me we will uh, we'll get it working and I'm actually looking forward to now uh, my plans have changed as we've been <laughs> recording this episode i think our live stream on the weekend might be us harvesting that other field and uh trying to get this all working smoothly and uh, as i hope it can so uh we'll get a time lapse going here for the baler and catch up with you once we've got a little bit further through the field last pass here uh, I'm gonna have to check the statistics to see how many bales we've made but there's certainly a fair amount in here and we're uh, making 8,000 litre bales too I think they are at least the 2.2 meter long ones I think they must even be a bit bigger than 8,000 litres let's have a look as this one gets finished off here 8,200 or there or thereabouts so uh, there is certainly a decent amount of straw on here now obviously 
when we started the uh, bailing here on the time lapse, we have uh, so we've stopped the loading wagon for now. I do want to try and figure that out, but uh, I think we're just going to get this bailing finished, and uh, that'll be a good time to wrap up this episode. It'll give me a live stream to try and get that all working for, so uh, that will be something to focus on. But let's get to the end here and see how many bales we've ended up with. All right, there we are. We're getting the finished work notification for course play. So let's take a quick look here in the stats. There we go. Bales produced 156 bales. So that must be over a million litres of straw. When uh, you look at that, 8,000 litres per bale, 800,000 uh, plus another 50. So I had about 1.2 million litres of straw off that field. Not too bad at all. Uh, but like I said, I think we're just going to clear that course and get rid of this. We'll head on over and... Uh, Need to get these ejected. Uh, bale, baler's turned on still. There we go. I was wondering why it wouldn't work. We had the baler turned on. There we go. Get those last two bales out. Get this all folded up. And uh, I think that is going to be a good place to wrap up this episode. So there we go. That is a perfect place for that episode to end. 156 bales made. Uh, we've got this field all harvested. We took just under two truckloads out. So about 80,000 litres of wheat off here. And it sets this up very well for our next live stream. So if you want to come along and see me struggling with trying to get the uh, loading wagon working here, see if we can figure out how to get it to automatically sell down at the bail point and uh, get everything doing that automatically, make sure you catch the live stream over the weekend. Uh, keep those notifications ticked so you know when it is happening. But as always, I hope you have enjoyed that episode. It was a little bit of a departure from what I had planned. I had hoped to get both fields uh, harvested, but uh, I think it's worked out for the best the way it has. So thank you all for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.